Hello and welcome, I am Scrapperlock and this is Satisfactory Early Access Update 3. I've been doing a lot of work and mainly what I've been doing is working on the new generator plant. As you can see we have all 24 generators running now and I wanted to show you guys the work that I've done on this part of the base. So let's actually put down a lookout tower so that you guys can see exactly what I have done. Remember there are three pure coal nodes up here. Each one can put out 120 uh, units a minute and that means we can power 24 generators. 8 times 8 times 8. There are f 8, there are, what is it, 2 water extractors per line, so 6 water extractors. And I created a bridge, a nice sky bridge, in the what I think is now going to be the standard format for building sky bridges in our factory, which is to have windows on the bottom, four windows on the bottom, like the big windows, and then four of what I call the subway windows on the top, and then a metal wall in every fifth one, and that's where the, um, the wall conveyor belt anchors will be, and the conveyor belts are moving along the upper floor. And um, you can see that this is where the um, one of the pods was, and that pod has uh, been, I've removed the hard drive from it, in fact I think that's downstairs. And uh, you can see over there is where I was building the my little exploit to try and shoot the alpha without getting uh, attacked. I'm not sure if he's going to respawn anymore because we have so many things in this area, but he might. He probably won't be able to get inside the, uh, the sky bridge. So let me take you down to the sky bridge and we'll walk along it and I'll show you what I've done. And we'll come on down and have a nice sip of coffee. And so we come in here, and um, this is the generator plant. I haven't completely finished the walls downstairs, but everything is functional. And in here, this is our sky bridge. And you can see what this is what it's going to look like also when I get around to it, going all the way back to the old base. We're going to need to pull some of the iron from there to make steel. I have not begun making steel, although I have set up the foundries, and I'll show you that. Um, we have our crafting bench and our work bench over here, and I'm looking for the hard drive, but I'm not sure which box I put it in. There it is. We want that. I guess we'll take the organs and stuff. Um, we can leave our building things here, but let's um, let's go ahead and finish the bottom of the base if I can. But first, let me show you. Um, we've got three coal nodes over here. And I just really love, once you've like got it all built and filled in, it just looks so awesome. You know, we've actually got a factory, it feels like. You know, we've got our uh, coal coming in on this side. I've got little ramps going in and out. So this coal miner is going in that way, and then these two coal miners are coming in this way. And they come along the top and it just feeds all the way back to the base and all three lines are now going so this is uh, 24 of these things which I think makes 1800 power now we still have the coal generators going back in the old spot but that's gonna get taken off I'm gonna leave them there but I'm gonna disconnect them because that coal is gonna be moved into the base to make um, steel and you've got to combine that with iron. So we come along here and then we come outside because the generators are outside. And one of the things I need to do is put down ramps for these guys. I think it just makes like a cleaner look. Two, three, four. Four, okay, middle is here. Yep. And then I will I just do this so that we can get in and out in the in the middle of the walkway here. 
you can see everything is full of water, everything's working. We're good to go. And it's all nice and even. Um, I've been getting a lot of pig beasts down here, but I hope with these things now powered that that will stop. One of the problems with these generators is they keep going on and off because they're not being used to their full extent. And and when they turn yellow, I don't know if they count. But these things are running com continuously, so they should suppress, I hope, the spawning. I hope. So now down here, we still have to create walls and everything. Um, and in fact, I'm going to need to make some changes here because... When I was building this part, I forgot that I needed to put one of those, um, the things that allow the pipe to pass through the wall. I forgot to put that on there. So, we're going to need to add that. And one of the things I can do is switch the power to being the stuff that go the uh, power, the wall power, um, what's the word, the wall power lines, right? And the other thing I want to do is get out the chainsaw and get rid of this stuff. And that looks good, and then this. There we go. And so that we have not needed wood or any kind of biological materials for a long time. So now we can go back to our coffee cup. I really like this thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's take these out. There we go. So let's see. I think we're going to want to come out the back here at some point in some spots. By the way, you can see the purple glow. I still haven't figured out. If anybody wants to comment on how to do it, I still have not figured out how to um, how to get rid of the uh, Mercer sphere that's really deep under the water. Now I have no idea what I'm going to do over here, but I just feel like if I want to get out, I should be able to get out. So yeah, the idea here is to just wall it all off and now we have everything nice and neat and kind of closed in and if I wanted to I could put storage down here furniture down here if there were furniture things like that of course there isn't really any furniture in this game so you can't really do that but as you can see I mean this is actually looking pretty nice And it's pretty quick to build this stuff. There we go. I should probably just put this on eight so that I can keep doing it. Uh, it always inverts. That's so annoying. It's like the first one after you do it always inverts. I don't know why it does that. See, right there. And then it stops doing it. And I think we're probably going to want to make a another ramp or whatever you want to call it here. Why won't this come up? I really need another hand slot here. This should be uh, that one. All right. So that allows us to come from inside and actually the end of the building is right here. 
that's the wrong thing. I want a door right there and maybe another one say right there and so the idea is to just now well, at this point this is not functional this is just making it look nice right making it look like an actual factory and not just a bunch of stuff laying on the on the ground outside Right, and so what we have up there is a sky bridge. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so this thing should be supported. So that door actually shouldn't be there because I gotta put the support there. So. Foundations. Let's go ahead and have it supported by a frame like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And so one of the things that I started trying to do was create a the kind of, sort of like a Roman arch. And I'm going to show you guys that when we go down below. Let's go ahead and put another support, let's say, right here. No, that's not right somehow. Why is that not... Oh, wow, that's not a full height. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, so I'm going to do something else with that for the supports. So let's think about this. Um, could use walls. Let's try walls and see if that works. Come on. There. Yep. Okay, well that'll be our sport then. Oh, I know what I can do. Hang on. See if this looks funny. I'll have to see if this looks funny upstairs, but we go from below instead of from above. Right, this, and then that. And it kind of eats into the, um, the foundation, but I think it'll look okay up there. And that is right next to this, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you can see it on the ground, but I, I actually think that looks alright. That's not too bad. Alright, so we'll do that in the other spot, too. And now it's supported. So if you come over here, and you look at the you look at the side of it, if I can get up, come on, yeah, you can see that it, it looks like it's supported, and now we just have to do that all the way back. Is there anybody evil over here? It doesn't look like it. Alright, and by evil I mean a big beast. Okay, so, let's go ahead and put this on 8. I just use 8 as my generic thing. Um, I think we can get rid of that. And we're not going to be able to put a foundation there, but let's see, we can put this here. Can't put that up, alright. But we can go here. Why can't we go up that way? Oh, I can't afford. Okay. Well, that's all right. We can pirate. Wow. That was a big lag jump. We can pirate some of these things. There we go.
right? Just so that it is supported and it's not like just hanging in the air. You know? And I'll pirate a little more. We can always put that back. Oh, and there should be some concrete in here too. A little bit. Right, so, you know, the idea is, I'm not gonna keep doing this all the way down. You guys get the idea. The idea is to make it so that it's supported, so that it looks decent. So let me take you down and I will show you the prep work for starting the steel part of the factory. So I will be right back when we get back to our base. So we're back at the base. Something strange is going on here. Um, all these walls, I did not take these walls down. These glass walls are just gone. I have no idea what just happened. I wonder if you can only have a certain number of glass walls. Let's test it. Um, oh wait, I don't, I, yeah, I think I have enough concrete. Let's try it. Uh, walls. Is that making other stuff disappear? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, I don't know guys, that's really weird. It's just the glass walls that are gone. That's very, very strange. I don't know what's going on. I had no idea that that had happened until I just got back here. This is very weird. I don't know. I didn't have a crash or anything, so I don't know what's going on. Um, so let me take you on a little bit of a tour. We don't need those walls right now. Um, so this is our foundry. So we're on the smelting floor. And what's gotta happen is these guys need to have both coal and iron come into them. So I've set up the coal line. So they're getting coal coming in on the right hand side over here. And then on this side, just because it was easier to work out, they're, they're getting it in, coming in on the left hand side. And it doesn't really matter. And so they take 45 coal and 45 iron per minute and make 45 ingots. So they're going to be getting 40, not 45. So they're going to be working a little under capacity. But we're going to have two lines of 120. In fact, I need to make one more foundry over here. There will be six total. Um, and so they're getting coal, and the coal is coming up through these two um, conveyor lifts. So if we come over here, and we go down, we can see that this is where the coal is coming from. This is going to be our coal storage. And the coal lines are going to come from the other side over there where we have... Um, did it all come back now? The walls? This is really strange. Um, anyway, the coal is coming from this other side. Yeah, the walls are back now. Is it, Oh, you know what? I was on the wrong floor. The walls are from down here. I haven't built them up to the next floor. I thought I was on this floor. All right, I'm an idiot. Um, okay, back to what we were doing. So the coal is gonna come up from down below, but the actual coal nodes are over there. So how do we get the coal over here? Well, we had a sky bridge we'd already built. It was off by just a little bit. Um, by the way, one thing I don't like about this game, the way this works, is you can see the walls over the lip of the um, foundations, and I don't really like that. I think that's kind of sloppy. I don't really like that at all. Anyway, all of these guys are storing raw coal, or they will be when I send it over here. So if we come down here, this is where the coal is coming up, right? So it's going up. It's coming across this bridge. Now, I didn't do the standard sky bridge thing up at the top here, just because this is really short and it's not a full bridge. This is just going, and then it's gonna he head down because the coal is pretty far down below. 
So I didn't want to bring it all the way up for the whole length. So that height is our regular bridge that's going to be bringing everything over. So I made a little rampway to go down. This was a pain in the neck to do, but it's fine. It's done now. And so that is what takes the coal up. And the coal comes in on these two lines, 120 each, because there's two nodes over there and two over there, 60 and 60, and 60 and 60. So it's 240 divided by two is 120, right? And so here we have our lines coming in. Now there's no coal coming in yet because it's all going over to the generator right now. But the next step is to bring all of that stuff all that coal up in here. Now unfortunately this this right here is not at the same level as the rest of the base. It's not correct. So I had to raise this up a little bit. That's okay because we're gonna take all of that down because now it's just going this way, right? Um, and if we want to get over to that generator plant we'll just put it at the level of this bridge. So what I have to do is grab the two nodes that are over here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, but there are two nodes. There's one right there. And there's one right there. And I've got um, a foundation sort of lined up, ready to go. So we just gotta move belts over there, bring it to here, and we're good to go. So that's pretty cool. and. Then I, that, that's going to get the coal over there, and then we've got to get the iron over there. Now, the iron storage is actually all the way on the other side of the base over there. So I'm going to have to bring that around somehow and bring it up. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet. I have to think about it. Um, but you can see that our base is really taking shape now. It's, it's really starting to move along. And I'm actually pretty happy with a lot of it. I, I think that some of this needs to be cleaned up, but I think overall it looks really cool. Okay, so now what I the other thing I wanted to show you guys was the um, kind of pseudo Roman arch for building that I have uh, created in my plan of how we're going to make things, and I have it uh, kind of prototyped over here. So if you come over here, you can see it, right? I've just got it spanning this, these two columns. Um, and I know from here, it's generating the optical illusion like that column, it's to me at least, like that column is further back and this column is further out, but that's not the case. They are lined up, I believe. They should be. Um, it's just one goes deeper than the other, right? But they are horizontally aligned, right? This one is aligned with that one, right? So you can connect them across, right? If you just wanted to, to prove that. They are aligned. It just doesn't look like it from back there, at least to me. So this is the way um, it's all going to look. And of course, I'm going to have to do that every for every one. But we're um, we have the column, right? The the solid wall, and then four glass, and then another solid. And so, and then we have the inverted um, the inverted ramps, and that makes it look like an arch. Now you might say, why didn't you do the actual? Um, this thing, the pipe, the inverted pipe thing, right? You could make an arch with that. Well, the problem with that is that it only is too wide. That's problem number one. And problem number two, let's see if I can find a spot where I can show you. So that's problem number one, but problem number two Right, because I figured, well, you know, I could do something like this and then put it over here like this, and it would still look like an arch, right? 
But the problem with that, and that would be really cool. I mean, I would really like to do that. But the problem with that is that you can't, it doesn't want to match up, right? There's no half width foundation. So that's not going to look like an arch going all the way down to the ground, right? So what I need is a foundation that is, you know, the width of that. But they really don't have anything like that. I tried using the pillar middle, but that doesn't work. Um, and so hopefully someday they'll come out with a half width foundation and then we could make real arches but for now it's not really possible so to me the way I'm fudging it is with it's like an angled arch and I actually am pretty pleased with the way that thing looks I like it a lot I think that's a pretty that's gonna look pretty cool and then we're gonna have a row of glass going along the bottom and we'll have a roof across the top and it'll be supported and we're going to have that going all the way down and all the way back to the base. And that means that some of the framework um, pillars with um, this thing that I had created further back, they're going to have to be dismantled. Um, and then what I'm probably going to do is actually put these, um, these things along the sides of these columns and see if I can find a way to move things up and so that when we're going on angles instead of all that ugly angle stuff I'm gonna just move the conveyor belt from the low level up and then over and I think that's how I'm gonna do it and I, I mean you can put a three right and then another three up here and you can just move it up and then um, bring three conveyor belts from either side and that's about as many as I'm ever going to move on a single sky bridge. You can see I've got a lot of stuff floating around here because I was like moving around trying to figure out how to angle things and it's not super easy to do but it looks pretty cool. I just wish you could somehow highlight say all of this column like this right I wish you could do that and then do like control S to save it and then just control V or control C to copy and control V to paste and use the mouse to rotate it and you could actually snap it in there. That would be so awesome. And then we could just make one thing and just replicate it all the way down instead of having to keep building it piece by piece. But unfortunately, you can't do that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to keep working on getting the steel going. And once that's actually being produced and we're getting steel ingots, I will bring you back and show you that. That won't be this episode. I'm going to stop this episode here. But hopefully in the next episode, you guys will be seeing some really cool steel being made. And we'll be getting ready to make the pipes and everything else. We have tons of power. We're going to have 1,800 megawatts. So we're in good shape. The other thing I have to figure out is how I want to anchor this thing to the bottom I thought about pillars but I don't I'm not sure I'm gonna like that um, one of the huge advantages of having it up in the sky like this is that if we want to move things from one side of the base to the other we have all of the underside to to move things around too in any case uh, we'll stop there I hope you guys have enjoyed until next time I am Scrapperlock and this is satisfactory early access update